What's up Amazon sellers? Today I am going to show you how I am doing my reimbursements the new way from Amazon FBA. This is no longer the manual method, this is a bit of software that I'm using which is faster, quicker, more efficient and cheap. Let's show you how maybe over the last 30 days I have saved what I think is probably £2,000 worth of cash or reimbursed. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I am an Amazon arbitrage seller from the UK. I've been selling on Amazon now for four years and I'm on a mission to do one million pounds by the end of next year and that's pretty much in about an 18 month period. I will drop a link up there if you wanna see a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. But enough of me, let's crack on with the content today. I'm gonna to go through four things. Number one, I'm gonna go through what reimbursements, stock reclaims with Amazon FBA are and why you should care. Number two, I'm gonna show you the manual way of doing it. Now, everyone talks about this. I'm just gonna show you how to do the manual way. It's quite simple and you can do it, it's really easy. Number three, I'm actually gonna show you the software that I use to do it now and why I do it over the manual way and why I think you two should do it as well. And I'll share that with you. And then number four, there is one thing I learned from a good friend of mine, Mr. Luke Filer, who actually is gonna help you with your business going to maybe make you a little bit extra money just from doing this on top of the stock reclaims. So stay tuned, let's get through it now. Okay, so first things first, what is Amazon reimbursements and why should you really care about them? What is the point of doing this process we're talking about now? Well, number one, if you use Amazon FBA fulfillment by Amazon, this basically means Amazon is holding your stock. Now, quite simply, what is happening is the case that Amazon are holding stock in the warehouse and they do that final dispatch to the customer. Now that's brilliant, we love that. That's predominantly why most people choose to sell on Amazon versus those other platforms versus like eBay. Now, what happens with the FBA is the fact that the Amazon loves to look after the customer and make sure they have a great experience, but sometimes they delay that experience with you. And a good example might be you shipped something into Amazon to sell it. What's happened, the customer has purchased it, they've had it delivered, Maybe they don't want it. And under EU law, they have a certain amount of time that they can get that product returned and Amazon is more than happy to do that. So the moment the customer returns or says they want to return the item, Amazon refunds the customer immediately. They also credit or take the money from your account. And then you have to wait for that stock to come back into Amazon's FBA warehouses to obviously get it checked and then resold if it can be resold. This can take up to 30 days before they get it back. Now, generally what happens is you'll get that money back and you know the stock will come back in or if it hasn't been returned, then Amazon will refund it. But sometimes Amazon forgets. Sometimes the stock never comes back. And you know what? Amazon is supposed to refund you that money because they've already taken the money off you to refund the customer and the customer hasn't upheld their end of the bargain. So doing this process is gonna help you identify that. Second reason why you might be interested in doing this is let's say for example, you ship in six items to Amazon warehouses. You ship in, they check in six, great, fantastic. Now it doesn't sell for a while, after a, you know, after a little while you have a couple of sales and maybe you get like five products sold. Now you would expect that you should have one left, but when you go in and check your inventory, you have zero. Six minus five doesn't equal zero. There should be one remaining. And sometimes things go missing in Amazon's warehouses. Most of the time you are gonna get your money back. But again, sometimes things go wrong. Doing this process, doing what we're about to go through is gonna be super key because it is protecting your stock, the money you've invested and making sure that you get that money back it's gonna help your business grow, or should we say not shrink? So protecting the assets in your business, making sure you account for all the items in the stock is super, super key, because it doesn't matter how much money you're making and sales, if you're losing it in your warehousing and your stock, because it's going missing, then it's just not gonna work. Your business isn't gonna survive. So really, really important to keep on top of this critical or crucial function of your business, making sure that you're going through the process very regularly. And I reckon at least once a month. Let's go through it now. Let's go through the manual process. And then also I'll show you the process that I use and how easy that is as well. What I'm gonna say is stay to the end of this video. Why? Because not only am I gonna show you the process that I use and why it's better, but also number two, there's gonna be a thing that I'm gonna share with you that Mr. Luke Filer taught me, which is about going to help you with your business. That's gonna maybe get you more value for your refunds 
that maybe the manual process isn't doing or even the manual the process that I use, which is a bit more automatic. So final top tip, stay to the end. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the manual process. We're gonna jump on the computer and I'm just gonna walk you through how to do it nice and simply so you can follow through as well. And hey, um, you can watch this, obviously slow it down, pause it at any point, and you can do it yourself on your computer, on your Amazon seller account, and just go through the same process. What I will say is I'm gonna blur a few things out why? Because obviously they're quite sensitive, they're products I'm selling, so just be aware of that. Right, let's jump on now and we will look at the process now. We've jumped into my Amazon Seller, Seller, Seller Central account, get it right there. Now what we want to do quite simply is jump into Fulfillment by Amazon. So let's jump into Fulfillment by Amazon Reports. Then we want to come down left hand side and we want to do Show More under Inventory and we want to go to Inventory Adjustments. So let's click on that. Now, what we want to do is go through to download. So we want to get hold of these. So let's click download. Now, what we want to do is Amazon gives you six months to go back and claim back any missed stock, but also as well, it gives itself a 30 day you say, period whereby it allows itself that period of time to refund you. So, so you can't choose anything which is like due yesterday. You've got to wait 30 days. So top tip, let's do exact dates and let's go back six months. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Voila. And I'm just going to choose the day after. And then what I'm also going to do here is go back one month. So because obviously anything during the last month is not going to be valid. So let's click on that. And then what I'm going to do is click request text file. Download that. Really, really simple. Now, in the interest of being fast and obviously not waiting around for you guys to watch this, I've done one already. So just down below, you can see here I've downloaded a text file and it's got exactly the same date. So let's download that now and let's work our way through it. So what I'm going to do is open up that text file and I'm going to copy this text file into Excel. So let's open up a brand new Excel file and copy it across. Quite simply, we've got here a list of dates, transaction IDs, FNSKUs, obviously what SKU is, what the product name is, and then also as well, film center ID and the quantity. So we've got reason, which is the really important one. And what we're looking to do is quite simply just filter them. So I say filter, we might actually sort them. So let's sort them A to Z and expand. And then what we want to do is we want to get rid of anything which isn't E or M. So Let's go through now, let's remove them. My God, look at, look at this, I have got one hell of a lot. If I kind of scroll down over the course of the last six months, I have approximately 222 items that are going to be, we're gonna raise cases for. Now, quite simply, what are they? Well, E's are anything whereby Amazon due to return it, but they have caused a damage to it, there's been a problem, and M, as far as I'm aware, anything which has been lost. So. What we want to do is we want to break these down into sections of five and we want to raise a case for them. So quite simply, what are we going to do? We are going to break them into five. So we might just literally insert a new column and then we might just take the first five items. Quite simply, we are going to load up Amazon Seller Central, go into a support case and raise a case and say, hi, I think I'm due a reimbursement for these products. Can you have a look into it for me, please? That is it. And just send that and just do it in five, 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 and just see what comes back. Not all the time you're going to get refunds on them. Not all the time they're going to say yes, but quite a lot of these products, they might actually come back and say, yeah, you are due a refund. We've done the investigation. We're happy to do it. Don't do any more than five at any time. Why? Because if you do more than five, they basically just come back and say it's too many. You need to make it manageable for the other person on seller central or seller support. And then also for you is about don't, you know, if, you, if you're like me, you've got 200, break it down. Send out tops 10 requests, then wait, let them clear them down, then send out the other ones. Again, do this monthly, it's gonna be really important. So let's go through how you'd actually log on right now on seller central support. So what I'm gonna do is come back into my Amazon Seller Central account. I'm gonna to go to help at the top. So I'm in help, so I'm gonna scroll down to get support and then selling on Amazon and then say, hello, I think I should have a for the following five items. And then we're gonna take those five items and drop them in and then just click continue. And you can click contact us. And then go through and put it all through and go send. 
Now that is gonna raise you a Amazon case and that's gonna be quite simple. So that is the manual process, which, you know, that, that how we go through and raise the case is pretty much the same for all of them. But by loading up the inventory reimbursements report, it's just going to allow you to see all those, those products that need reimbursing. And then quite simply, what you can do is grab five at a time put them through Seller Central and then raise a case each of them. Again, don't do any more than 10 because they're just gonna get really annoyed and they'll say no. So you do get a warning, trust me, I think I raised 25 at one time. That's not 25 individuals, that's 25 times five. And they got very, very angry at me. Just be mindful, 10 at a time, bunch of the five, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Question for you guys, do you do it manually? Are you doing the manual process or do you have maybe a bit of software that you use? If so, I'm really interested to know, drop it down below. I'd love to see what everyone's doing. Hey, you know, I've got a tool which I use now, which I'm gonna talk about next, but I'd love to see what you do. So drop me a message down below. Tell me how you're doing your reimbursements or perhaps you're maybe not even doing any reimbursements right now. Okay, so the manual process is good, but it's not perfect. And there's a lot of software out there. The average price would probably be about 20% of the, the refund value, which you know is expensive. It's a lot of money. When you do the manual process, quite a lot of times Amazon just comes back to you and they say no refund due. And you don't really know if that's true or not, and you have no way of proving it. So what do I use in my business? And what have I been using over the last couple of months and had quite a lot of success with? Well, I use a bit of software called Seller Toolkit. Now, this isn't, should we say, much of a promotion video or anything about Seller Toolkit. It's just showing you the process that I go through. But I do really like it, and a lot of other sellers that I know have recommended it as well, and we really like it. It's a, it's a great bit of kit. And it's not just a reclaim, reclaiming bit of software or reimbursement bit of software. It actually does things like P&L, and to be honest, that's why I actually use it to start with for looking at my profit and loss. I prefer it that way. It gives really good anchor results, but the reimbursement side of it is spot on and it's always being developed. So there is a lot going on and it has even more like restocks and stock, uh, helping you with your inventory. So really, really helpful. Now I mentioned it earlier, sometimes Amazon comes back to you and says no reimbursement due. But the one good thing about Seller Toolkit is they give you all the information to support your claims. They tell you why, where, and what's gone on, what's gone wrong. And you can feed that back to Amazon Seller Support. By using the software, it really helps you out. It's not just doing what we do manually, but it actually goes one step further. So we're gonna go through that now and I'll show you it live on the screen. So I just logged straight into Seller Toolkit and you can see pretty much like just a quick overview of what my business is doing right now. It talks about like sales today and profit, etc. You know, it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. So it's okay. Not amazing. It's okay. Bit of a slow day. You can see that down here. Um, but also you can see here like profit and loss over the last 30 days and like profit on reimbursements, which is useful. Now what we want to do is quite simply come into FBA reconciliation, go to inventory and go to reimbursements overdue. I and mean, we talked about it during the manual process, whereby there are gonna be you know, reimbursements due and that's fine. Amazon gets 30 days to, to reimburse you. But after that 30 days, if they haven't reimbursed you, it's overdue. So sort of toolkit just tells you what's overdue. Okay, so when you come in straight away, what you've got here is, you can see it basically just shows you the product, a little bit about the, the product, what's happened, when it should have been reconciled. And here it says inventory missing one, reimbursements overdue one. So it's not particularly a huge amount of product, but it's saying that I should have had a reimbursement and haven't. So what do we do? We come up straight away up to the three little dots and then it just loads into a nice little page. So it tells us how many are damaged, how many are being reimbursed, and how many are overdue, and obviously the amount that should be re you know, reimbursed. So what also we can do here, you can see the inventory statement, so how many I've had shipped in and how many we've sold, it gives me that information there. Also as well, reimbursement reconciliation, inventory purchase shipped and received, which is just lots and lots of information. And also you can see the case log. Oh my God, look how many cases we've raised about this. Like, you know, for different reimbursements that are due. So we've had quite a few of these in the past already. And then inventory adjustment transactions. So what's happened there and refunded orders. So here we go, units reimbursed. That unit down here has not been returned. So when we talked about them saying, hey, this item is due for reimbursement and having say no, quite simply, this software tells you where you're missing. You can see that nice X that's just telling you, hey, Something's not right here. You need to get your money back for that. 
and hey, there's so much going on, like so much. So it kind of looks a bit of a minefield, but do not worry, you can come straight up here and go raise case. That is all we're looking to do. Hi, I have not been reimbursed for the following adjustments. Do, 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 not returned. Adjustments, two reimbursements, one missing, customer order, bang, 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 bang. Very, very simple. And what can I do? I can click up here, load up Amazon Contact Us. Again, go through exactly the same process that we had previously, i.e. whereby we are going to launch into doing search support, open a case. And once we have opened that case, what we're gonna do is just drop the case ID in there and then click save. And I can copy and paste this text. Super, super simple, super easy. And it's getting me my money back. And when Amazon turns around and says, hey, nothing's due, I can actually say it is, and here's why. Because I've got all that information right in front of me. And hey, that is really, really powerful. Why? Because, well, hey, this product is only £3.89 in reimbursement. But when you start doing big volumes and you know, that's where I want to be, and hopefully you do too, you're going to need to make sure that you are looking after that inventory, that stock that is coming into your warehouse. A tool like this is going to really help your Amazon business. Right, now, just a quick final thing on Seller Toolkit. Now, think about what it does. It does your profit and loss software. It does inventory stock. It does the reimbursements. You know, profit and loss software, you can be looking at £30 a month quite easily. Restock, that can be looking at, you know, £80 I've seen for that. And then even reimbursements, we're talking about 20%. You know, if you are doing, what, two, £300 worth of reimbursements due every single month, 20%, poor. That's going to be, what, £60 a month, quite simply. That adds up. Now, you might ask yourself, how much does a bit of software like this cost? And just by looking at what we talked already, it could be somewhere around £170 worth of value. Well, today, this software is only £32.99. Absolute bargain. I will drop a link down below for anyone who wants to sign up for that. It is an affiliate link. I do get a small commission, but don't worry. It just goes towards helping these videos and helping you guys out in your Amazon journey. So appreciate it if you use that link, but really good bit of kit. I love it. I use it all the time. We use it in our business and we do so much more with it. So I'll release some other videos in the future about dashboard reporting that we do internally and all those figures we get from Seller Toolkit. Why? because they're super accurate and they're very, very valuable. So really recommend it. It's got so much going on and they're developing. So have a look at that link down below. Now there's a final top tip I said I was gonna share with you at the end of this video. A good friend of mine, Mr. Luke Filer, if you want to know, I'm currently out in Gran Canaria with him. His top tip is look at the value that they're reimbursing for you, which is basically the cost of goods. If the difference between what Amazon is reimbursing you and what you've paid is more than a pound, it's worthwhile getting your invoice, sending that back to Amazon saying, hey, I actually paid more for this product than you're reimbursing me for. Can you increase the reimbursement amount? Doesn't always work, but sometimes they come back and increase the reimbursement. So try it, might be really beneficial. You might make yourself a bit more money, and especially when you've got a lot of products that maybe have been damaged, it could have a really big impact. But remember, you gotta send that invoice into them and prove that you paid more than they're reimbursing you for. Top tip there, Mr. Luke Filer. Thank you very much. If you want to see more videos like this that can help your Amazon business, hit the subscribe button. Stock reclaims are a massive part of your Amazon business. Getting that right is super important. But I'm going to drop a video around here for how to manage your cash flow. There's another mini video that I created on cash flow management within your business. And I think it is super, super important. So watch that manage your cash flow and grow your business quicker. From me, Thomas Parkinson, here in Grand Canaria. Thank you very much.